Some love them, some loathe them. But who should decide if large-scale wind farms get built? There are a few places where energy policy is as hotly debated as Mid Wales. Many Powys County councillors were elected on a platform of opposing wind farms. And here in Welshpool, a public inquiry is underway into whether five large wind farm projects should go ahead. The Silk Commission's recommendation isn't specifically about wind farms, but because of their size, renewable energy projects are likely to be most affected. At the moment, the Welsh Government can only make decisions on developments capable of producing up to 50 megawatts of energy. Above that, final say rests with ministers at Westminster. Today's report recommends this should be increased to 350 megawatts, and it says the UK Government should have to consult Wales on developments over that size. The new level would cover projects like the Tidal Lagoon proposed for Swansea Bay, but not large-scale power stations or the new nuclear plant planned for Wilver on Anglesey. But in Mid Wales it is planning policies drawn up by ministers in Cardiff which get blamed for applications to build new wind farms. It's really good to see them turning even on uh, very uh, low wind days. John Jones is part of a social media group, Powys Wind Farm Supporters. Reaction to the silk proposals seemed driven less by the principle of devolving more power and more by what the Welsh Government would do with it. John Jones wants to unlock the potential of wind energy. We're sort of in a log jam at the moment um, where people are objecting to everything, even the small turbines that you see in the distance, which are a big benefit to um, local families, sustaining the future for the farmers. The Welsh Government is determined to cover Mid Wales in, in wind farms and pylons and, uh, and, and, li and lines all over the place to destroy the place. And the people of Mid Wales, the major the vast majority, don't want them to do that. I mean, that's how it's been for the last 10 years. We're doing everything we can to defend this area for future generations. And the, the Welsh Government seem to care not, not a jot. For their part, wind farm developers will likely welcome anything which makes their life a little easier. Wind farm opponents will take some convincing, though. With new powers comes not a little extra responsibility.